Hi, Miss Rahani. Hi, Mrs. Virgil. How are you? Great. Good. I'm going to use these LED lights, a little pushy button switch to turn a light on and off. Yep. Pretty using much. the Arduino. Pretty much. So the cool thing about Arduino, as you all know, is it comes with lots of pre-set up programs. Awesome. So the one we're going to use is in our examples under digital called button. So if you open up the button. That's a good name for it. Yeah. So it actually, it's really cool. It tells you what to do. So you just need three things. We need an LED attached from pin 13 to ground. It's pretty logical why they're using pin 13 and ground because they're right next to each other and that's not particularly far apart. So if I put the long pin, which is the positive in to 13 and the shorter pin into the ground, then I've got that connected. Brilliant. So next we want to attach the push button to pin 2 from the 5 volts. So what that means is we'll grab one of the pins of the button, doesn't matter which one. No, because all this does is it closes the gate. So um, there's a gate in between, similar to like an on-off switch. So when I'm pushing down, the gate's shut. And when I'm not, the gate's open. So I'm going to put this into 5 volts. Yep. Over to here. 5 volts. We want to connect our LED. So it can't handle 5 volts. It'll blow ah. up. So that's where the resistor comes in. You can see this resistor has five bands. So what we're going to do is go on to the five band calculator. We need a 10 kilo ohm resistor. Yep. And you want to read off the colors. Yeah. So it doesn't matter which way I go. It does actually. It's it's the, the thicker beginning. one is the end. So this thinner okay. one is the beginning. beginning. Okay, that's good to know. All right, so I've got brown, brown. and then black, black, red, and then brown. Cool. So we've got our 10k ohm resistor, which is what we need. Right. Now we, uh, if we check our code again, it says to put the 10k resistor attached from pin two to ground. So put it one end into the ground, ground and then put another end somewhere, which will connect to ground somewhere else on the okay. breadboard. So I'm going to move down the breadboard on the same line. And I'm just going to put this little guy here and then I'm going to connect on the same row from the ground into ground. the ground over here, which is next to the 5 volt. So now that you've set up your circuit, now you just got to okay. send the signal from the button back to the Arduino. So Okay, so I want it to, ha to happen at the same time that the button's down, which is as it's as the current's flowing through the resistor. So I only want it to happen when I put the button on. So I'm gonna put it in that position and then I'm gonna take it over to two. So now that we've set it up, we can see that we've got our button pin is pin two, which we did. The LED pin was uh, pin 13, which we did. And at the moment, the button state is off, basically. So zero is indicating the button's not on. So all it does is, here's where we, of course, set up. And you can see that the LED is going to have an output because it's going to turn on. Whereas the button is looking for an input. You want to know when is the button on. So the signal is coming back into the Arduino to say, yes, it's, it's on again. And then all it does is it's constantly reading the state of the button and as soon as you read in that it's on, whenever that button is on, it'll read it in and it'll read it as high. The input will be high because you've pushed the button down and it will then therefore turn the LED on high. But if it doesn't read anything, it will keep the LED off. So that's as simple as that. Cool. So let's try that. Ha <laughs> ha. 